So questions number nine and 10 in your chapter three homework, um, they all deal with, or they both deal with uh, molar mass calculations and calculating the molar mass of a compound. Um, this is a key skill that you need to have. Here's the periodic table on your exams and everything. You'll always have access to a periodic table. This one's ptable.com. It's a great resource. Whenever you look at something like aluminum here, when you see your aluminum here, you see this 26.982, that's a mass of one mole of aluminum. So for a hypothetical compound, um, if we were to calculate the molar mass of, let's say, NH4 to SO4, so this is ammonium sulfate, let's say that it's, it's known as a heptahydrate, so that means you have seven H2O. Um, essentially what you need to do is you need to figure out how many of each atoms are present. So there is two nitrogen. So find the mass of nitrogen on the periodic table, which is 14.007. And then you've got eight hydrogens. You've got this four and then there's two. And actually there's eight there, but then there's seven. There's 14 more. So there's 22 hydrogens. So I'm going to label N H. Um, hydrogen has a mass of 1.008. Next up is sulfur. There's one sulfur. Sulfur has a mass of 32.06 grams per mole. Oxygen is our last atom. And there's four of them here. But then we've got seven. So we've got a total of 11 oxygens. Oxygen has a molar mass of 15.999. So I'll plug all these in. 2 times 14.007 gives me 28.014. 22 times 1.008 is 22.176. 32.06. And then 11 times 15.999 gives us 175.989 grams per mole. So all of these have the units of grams per mole. So now what I'm going to do is say 175.989 plus 32.06 plus 22.176 plus 28.014. And that gets me approximately 258 0.239. That's all there is for a molar mass calculation. Hope this is helpful. Have a good one.